Fast start, Akira Nugent of Jamaica, Devon Charlton of the Bahamas, medal at the World Indoor Championships. And she could be looking for another one in the next few, next few weeks. Oh, Megan Tapper's excited. Everyone's excited. 7.67, if that time stands, that is a new world record to Devon Charlton, and that is the enthusiasm you're seeing from the women around her. Devon Charlton has been on the scene for years and years. She's knocked on the door of major outdoor podiums, she's not made it yet, but that in Olympic year, what a run from Devon Charlton. Here he is, the world 1500 meters champion, beating Inga Britson last year in Budapest. A rerun to take Whitebeard's defeat of the, uh, the Norwegian. He races very rarely indoors, but when he does, it's usually phenomenal. Farah in that world record attempt. 7.35 at the bell, and Kerr is faster. At the bell, Kerr has hit the front and moved away by 10 metres and kicking hard. A little glance over his shoulder there. He knows the race is won, but has he got the strength? He's so powerful, world-class at 5,000, very nearly world-class at the half marathon, brilliant at 3,000, brilliant at the mile. This is two miles, and this may well be a new world record from Josh Kerr. Look at this, cruising to the line, one arm aloft, the winning time there is indeed a new world record. Strictly speaking, we should call it a world best. The sport doesn't recognize uh, two miles for a world record purposes, but that is, for my money, a world record, and they call it that on the caption as well. At these 116th Milrose Games, the second world record of the day after the prize one, the 60 meter hurdles opened our program for the women. Well, that is the one that was expected, the one that was predicted from weeks ago, months ago. Josh Kerr said this was his target, and he's done it in spectacular stuff. 60 meters down on the track. This is Julian Alfred. She was undefeated through to Budapest in the summer and then only walked away with fourth and fifth in the 200 and 100. Good start from Forbes of Jamaica, but Julian Alfred building momentum through the race. Julian Alfred with daylight between her and the rest of the athletes. Seven dead on the clock at the moment. That would be a world lead, 100th of a second faster than Ava Svoboda. And being rounded down, 6.99. Perry Richardson watching on from the crowd as well. That is a new world leading mark for Alfred. Well, that puts her in a very, very special club of athletes who have run under seven seconds for the 60 metres flat in history. 